SEO copywriting lesson two is creating your slug, the URL. If you look up here in the domain name, you can see here I've got ballonvegas.com and then a slash. Well, the ballonvegas.com is the top level domain name and the slug is whatever comes after the slash. Now, there is something to uh, best practices in SEO which have us keeping these sh uh, short for better readability for the consumer, uh, for the visitor, and for optimizing a keyword, so including our keyword in there. We want to keep our slug to three or four words if possible, and a lot of times our permalinks will add uh, our categories or our top-level pages in the domain as well, so depending on how um, how it's set up. In my case here, you can see this that my blog posts do not include the category. So you just have the top level domain and then you have the name of the of the page or post. So how we do that is once we create a title, so in lesson one we learned how to do the title, it automatically will create a slug for you. Now this slug splish splash slide the day away is not optimized. And in lesson one, I showed you how to create two different titles, one for the blog post for the purpose of using a more appealing, catchy headline, and then down here, changing the title tag for the search engines to be more search engine friendly. So we want this slug, the URL here, to be search engine friendly and, and to have better readability. So we're gonna click edit. I'm gonna get rid of that, and I'm gonna type in my keywords here, and in this case, it's Cowabunga Bay, and I'm and I could leave it at just that, but I'm also kind of thinking water park, and that's the full name. So I'm going to go ahead and put in water park. Is there an absolute no? If you were to put just Cowabunga Bay, that would be okay. If you think strategically, you might want to go ahead and add the word water park because that's a secondary keyword. It's also in the name of the of the of the business and in the page so I'm going to go ahead and include that whole thing. So that is how you optimize the slug when you're doing on-page SEO SEO copywriting.